Coming up on Newswatch 12 this morning, the cause of the fire at the solar farm in Central Point has been revealed. And fire investigators are here at a fire that happened early in White City. I'll break down what I know coming up. And today, a cold front moving through is bringing some critical fire conditions. Watching out for you. This is Newswatch 12 this morning. Good morning. The time is 6 a.m. on October 4th. Welcome to Newswatch 12 this morning. I'm David Alvarado. And I'm Brinkley Hill. Let's check back in with Sarah this morning about that critical fire weather. We know fire season isn't over yet. We've seen it time after time with all these fires. So what should people really be looking out for this morning? Well, this morning we're starting out pretty cool as we're heading into those afternoon hours. That's when we'll see these winds pick up. But temperatures will be cooler, but that doesn't mean we're out of the clear for fire weather. We're, this whole week we've seen pretty dry and hot conditions. It's creating really dry conditions, especially over east of the Cascades. So today when we do have that front move through, we can expect pretty gusty conditions. So wildfires can spread very quickly. But real quick, taking a look at our current temperatures are waking up this morning. Quite a bit of blue across the whole region, even over to the coast, seeing temperatures in the 50s this morning. And another look at our air quality. Today with the system moving its way through, we're going to see that southwest flow pushing a lot of that smoke out towards our east. But so as we're waking up, we're seeing some moderate values over into the Rogue Valley and along the coast. Unhealthy for sensitive groups this morning. But when can we see these wind gusts begin to pick up? Well, as we do head into the lunchtime hour, that's when those gusts will begin to pick up, possibly seeing about 25 miles over west of the Cascades, over to the east, seeing wind gusts from about 30 to 45 miles per hour and some of those higher elevations up to about 50. And we'll talk more about what to expect as this front makes its way through for the whole region coming up in our next forecast. Under a fire watch this morning, Jackson County Fire District 3, along with Medford Fire, responded to a structure fire just after 2 a.m. And Luke Doton has been there since earlier this morning. Yeah, Luke, what can you tell us more about this fire and when it started? We know that a lot of damage has been shown throughout the morning. Damien Brinkley, good morning. Yeah, that's right. We saw the three cars just about 30 minutes ago. Since we last talked, the fire investigator for Fire District 3 has been here. I heard him saying he's going to be taking some pictures once it gets brighter in the sky, and then they'll start digging through what's behind me in the garage either today or starting on Monday. But let's go ahead and take a look at what I saw when I got here this morning. There was a very large fire presence, probably about 14 fire trucks lined up along Antioch Road and along the driveway where I'm at right now. But as soon as I got here, there were just a couple cars leaving, a couple trucks leaving about every 20 minutes. The only car that's here right now is the fire investigator. There's also a company boarding up some of the windows so that they're ready to come investigate this. But that's what we know this morning. Fire is still under investigation. I'll work on talking to the fire investigators, see if they have any preliminary cause. I also did hear him talking about a gas can behind me that's in the garage that was leaking gas during the fire. So gonna work to confirm that as well and get back to you guys. Live in White City, Luke Doton, Newswatch 12. There's also an investigation of the two fires at a solar panel farm in Eagle Point that found that the cause of the fires were the solar panels themselves. News Watch 12's Rocky Walker has more on the cause and what's being done to address the situation. This footage is from the fire that broke out on the property just Monday, but another fire broke out here on July 31st. The fires collectively burned 10 acres. This is the panel that caused one of the fires, found by the investigators to overheat, causing the flames. Professionals say events like these are rare and almost always are caused by outside factors like animals and weather. A thermal event like this one it, it does seem pretty rare to me. It, it is not always uh, an installation error. I would say actually it's, it's more commonly an external factor that, that causes things like that to happen. They say safeguards are in place, but even with the solar panels being put off of the power grid, they are still creating energy. And until a solution is found, there is a possibility for more panels to fail. The investigators have worked with the company who owns the solar panel farm, Soltage LLC, to find a solution to the malfunctions. But with 33,000 panels in the grid, they will need to check most all of them to see if the previous panel failures affected the others and their stability, or if there's a larger issue within the panels. Soltage LLC did not get back to me for a comment or an interview at this time. In Eagle Point, Rocky Walker, Newswatch 12. 
The Illinois Valley Fire District, along with Rural Metro Fire, responded to a structured fire in Cave Junction. The whole house was on fire when crews arrived, and multiple firefighters put out the fire before it spread to any other properties. This morning, Oregon Parks and Recreation Department is seeking public comment on a proposed rule change. The rule would require a day-use parking permit fee at all state parks, but give the director the ability to waive the fee or implement fees. If adopted, the director plans to waive the fee at most parks. A virtual hearing will be held on Zoom on, on Wednesday, October 23rd at 5.30 p.m. A new program is going to help Californians pay their electricity bill. California's cap and trade program is giving away $71 million to customers of investor-owned utilities. Governor, New Ga Governor Gavin Newsom announced that over 11.5 million Californians will automatically see these savings on their electric bill throughout this California climate credit. Each customer will get an average of $71 this month. In a developing story, we are tracking reports of a man who fell off a bridge roughly 18 miles east of Brookings. A Coast Guard helicopter air crew rescued the 74-year-old hiker. The air crew arrived on scene at 5.30 p.m. and lowered a rescue swimmer to hike down and assess the hiker's condition. The air crew then hoisted the hiker into the helicopter and transferred him to emergency medical services at Del Norte County Airport in Crescent City. The hiker's current condition is still unknown this morning. On our school watch, the Oregon Department of Education is releasing its assessment results for Oregon students. The report shows that learning and performance levels are up from last year. Scores still linger behind pre-pandemic numbers. Six out of seven grade levels showed improved math scores. Recovery and literacy scores have been slower to rise and uneven across the state. ODE has identified key areas to support and improve student performance. Those key areas are increasing investments in K-12 literacy, support for summer and after-school learning, and refining data and policy practices. And the Fred Meyer store in Grants Pass said its Coach for Kids barrels were full. Just take a look at your screen right now. The barrel is packed to the top with coat donations. And Newswatch 12 is taking your donations of new and gently used children's coats. There for children in Jackson, Josephine, and Klamath counties, where we have more than 50 donation barrels. This one had over 30 coats and jackets, and we are so lucky to see the community come out and support us. If you'd like to find more information on our campaign, as well as how to donate online, you can head to our website, krv.com.